from our previous example, we already have a message dialog box that can open up. It has some very basic functionality that's not going to open automatically. It's going to wait for an input from the user. And we have effects to show and hide our input box. Now we're going to look at adding a couple of additional features. The first of which is modal. Now to demonstrate modal, I want to reload our document. Here you notice that we have a bunch of text. We can click on the open window. Our text box sits on top of it. However, we can still see a lot of text behind our open dialog box. I can even click and drag and select this text. Plus, because it provides an interesting contrast, it makes the box a little bit harder to see and read. Modal, on the other hand, will change that for us. I'm just going to add the property. Modal is true. And now when I reload our page, everything seems to be the same until we open our window. Now I notice our box is just like before. However, text behind it now has kind of a gray tint over it. In fact, jQuery UI has put a div on top so we cannot select the text and it helps provide less contrast. That way we focus more on our box. This is known as being modal and the fact that we cannot interact with anything except for our box. Being modal has some advantages, especially if I want to use an alert box to prevent people from doing something. Now I may want to have this box with it being modal However, I may want to give them a better button to close than just that little X. So I'm going to switch back to my text editor. I'm going to add a button. Now buttons are a little bit more complicated than some other factors. We're going to pass in a JavaScript object. However, buttons is made up of more than one sub object. So I could have, for example, a cancel. The name of my button appears on my left hand side of my colon as the property. On the right hand side is a function. This is essentially our click event handler for this cancel button. Additionally, I can put a comma and add other buttons such as OK, or I can create a button on my own. Now if I'm not going to use OK or cancel, I need to make sure I put this inside of quotes. As this is a click event handler, I can put any type of JavaScript I want, including Ajax calls and more. Save it. Reload my page. Notice I have a cancel. And I have a delete user account. So if you notice, our box is a little small by default. To fit both of our buttons, we can simply increase the width of our dialog box to better fit both of those buttons if we need to. If not, the buttons will simply go to additional rows as you see here. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way, you can get the most up-to-date information.